Hey guys, <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's me, LeVon, Loaded Operator 7. <coughs> and today, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we got snow. And we got quite a bit of snow. So I've already knocked off this stuff. So this is Demon. Trying to find something that I haven't touched. Or <laughs> I, I don't think I took uh That's probably correct. So all oh, that accumulation right there. I don't think I took a... No, I haven't taken this out yet. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of buggying around in this thing. And I've come up with a pretty cool idea. My neighbor gave me some skis that were for her, like, grandkids. And they're, like, little. They're nothing... Uh, I mean, I'm just going to buy new skis for my kids when they want to ski. I'm not going to reuse these ones. So I'm actually thinking of building uh, a little, uh, basically, a half circle. Um, one of these deals. Or just uh, finding a way to lock the uh, skis to the front tires. And then, I mean, <laughs> I got a snowmobile all day long, guys. Um, yeah, and I mean, it's not like my front tires dig into the snow or anything, but how much cooler would that be if I could just slip around on skis? So that's something I'm tossing around in my head. They're just sitting in the garage. She just gave them to me. Um, look how beautiful this is. I should have taken this video before I walked down the driveway. But I mean, I went all the way down to the driveway. Can you see that little box? There's a little box all the way at the base of that tree. Not this gate, but about another 300 feet that way. <laughs> uh, that's my mailbox. So I had to walk all the way down there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. Anyways, there's a black box beyond that gate and that's my actual mailbox uh then this is my whole easement basically and then there's by the gate there's another big box and that's like for packages and stuff ups brings and drops my stuff off in there which i think is pretty cool and we got some more stuff today and i'm assuming it's all gifts for the kids because whoa you don't want to be standing underneath the tree when that happens but um yeah, we got more stuff in the mail right now, and I tried to get everything done, but I couldn't. I left my trash can open. That's empty, though. We took the dump. And we, I mean, I dumped out my dump trailer so that way I can uh, use it for wood. And that's what we're going to do, yo. We're going to start. Well, I'm not going to start. I should have done this in the uh, in the earlier months before this, but... Since my wood is already seasoned, and it's dried, and it's ready to go, in fact, it's super crispy, burns really hot and fast, so I, uh, I neglected to cut the rest of it, and that's in those piles over there all. There's my thumb over there in the background. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys the rest of the property that I own, now that it's all snowy badoey. These guys are like, what the hell is this? What is this stuff? And then these guys are, <laughs> they're all hanging out in the coop. And my turkeys are one-legged, standing on one leg. Those guys don't mind it at all. My, uh, my, my white, broad-breasted turkeys don't mind it. So that big old pile underneath that uh, mountain of snow, that's my seasoned wood. And I'm probably going to be, oh, man, I love walking on fresh stuff like this. Crunch, crunch, crunch. But there you go, some more. And I know I'm going to get into one of those. Something's going to... Look at all that snow, guys. Imagine if I fell on you. And you're standing underneath that tree. <laughs> but look how quiet this is. Shut up! Anyway, so my little shooting range right underneath the American flag over there at the very end of my property. That's the little 22 range. And then this is where I'm building my other one. So this is my lower acreage. At least this is how you get to it. This little fence line right here separates my top acre, which is all grass and fancy, nice, and all that stuff. And then the rest of my acreage is all woods, all natural woods. I gotta be careful because that's my little trailer my buddy Marty gave me. So I throw all my extra, extra pallets and stuff in that thing. And that thing is gonna be my mule log. Or my log mule. It's 
fence line. I got to get a real gate over here, actually. I'm trying to open it without getting cut. Come on. Blood force trying to pull this son of a bee. And this leads into my locker. Okay, so now I got to be very careful, guys, because as you can see, this is not maintained. So I don't want to have any widow widow makers following. <laughs> well, I better find out where them that hill starts. <laughs> it was a pretty deep snow right there. I sunk into, but this leads down to my beautiful quiet acres. It's my little nature path. It's my meditation. Little birds. So that's my. Uh, as you can see, there's a no hunting no. Trespassing sign. That's my border right there, but it runs all the way. I mean, it goes all the way down to the road. Got several acres going that way. And I got all the acres in the world I want that way. That's all Sasquatch land. So, and I'm, I'm not even joking. Like, that's like nothing. So, like, if you Google my property and you do the maps thing and you zoom out, there's nothing but green all that way. It's all green. It's just tree farming or uh, just natu natural forest, I guess. I mean, it's the it's just just green. That's all you see when you do the maps. Everything that way is green, and it's literally a uh, like a line. My property line and everything that runs down, all the other houses, they all end on that. And then everything else on that side is green, which I love. In fact, backing up to forest was something I absolutely wanted. And this peace and quiet is priceless, man. Listen to this. You can hear the snow hitting the floor. How beautiful is that, guys? Lived in L.A. for 30 years. Nothing but noise, noise, noise. And it's so constant, you don't even know it's there. This is, this is priceless. So I got to come in here, do a bunch of tree trimming. I uh, got my, well, I got my kick-ass logger saw. Uh, that thing is, is more, that, I don't need any more power than that. 77cc chainsaw is pretty much it. Uh, unless you're doing, like, milling or anything, you need... Something like that, you're going to be slabbing these things uh, or slabbing trees and, and stuff. Then, like a, like a sawmill, then you can get high, uh, like 110 or I think there's even a 120 cc, all that flurry. But I'm not touching any of my antiques or I should say my, my old standing trees like these guys. Those two Douglas firs have been there for quite a while. Or I should say all three of those, one, two, three of those. But all this stuff, I think this is like vine maple, uh, all these little guys, I'm not going to cut them all down, but I have to go through some of them. I want to use some of my additional property, but yeah, let's check it out. I know I'm going to get a big old poof of snow falling on me like that, but it's okay. I'm well insulated. What the heck? Why does it look like something's been walking over here? It's my kids. Doesn't look like a. No, it didn't look like a, my little daughter's footsteps. And if anything, it would be my daughter and my my wife down here. She doesn't come here by herself. I see a lot of wildlife on my trail here. But yeah, I gotta come and clean up some of this stuff. Look at this. I'm trying to make it through without touching anything. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> should be up there somewhere. Uh, 
once you see that, that'll be basically the end of the end of the line. But I can tell what's the end of the line because of my trees versus those trees. So, yeah, about another 20 feet or so, and you're in Sasquatch land over there. Oh, <laughs> I told you I was going to get nailed by one of them. But this old Douglas has been here for a while. That guy's been here for a while. And then that guy's definitely been here for a while. And the one that I can see from the road is my double. Where's that? Yes, yeah, that guy right there. So the one that's got two trees and that are coming out of the same base. Is it that one? I think it's that one over there. I can see that from, like, when you keep going down the road into the forestry. If you look back up, I'm at the top of the mountain. That's how I can tell where I'm at with those two those two very tall Douglas, Douglas firs that are there. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. And then everything down that way is mine as well, all the way to the road. About two or three acres. What the hell is that? Anyways. But yeah, and uh I've got several acres that go that ways. And then uh but this is where I'm gonna build my uh berm. I'm gonna build a big fat I'm gonna go in a little bit further. I'm gonna put uh a huge pile of dirt and then I'm gonna do railroad ties and I'm gonna basically build an enclosed uh an enclosed um, so I can hang my targets and all my my uh projectiles will be going into the uh, dirt behind it. And then I'm just to top it off. I'm behind the dirt. My neighbor's got a bunch of old tires. So I'm going to stack those old tires in the back and fill them up with dirt as well. Just as a backup, you know, and just to keep my pile of dirt where it belongs, I guess. Because when it rains and all that, that's just going to erode away. But yeah. And of course, I don't want anything flying into, even if it's Sasquatch land. I mean, you never know if there's a hunter out there or even a, an animal, something standing there. I don't want to nail or hit anything that's not intended to be fired at or shot at. So I want to just make sure that all my projectiles will stay within the area which I want them to. And that way also when I go through the dirt, I can just basically sift out all the lead and all that stuff. So, yeah, you see, that's what I'm talking about. Those cracking sounds I don't like. So I already have a couple of Widowmakers out here. <laughs> well, there's a nice one. That's the whole top of a tree right there. You see that? That's the trunk. So it must have snapped off one of these guys and landed in there. But that snow and all the added weight to it ain't helping it much. So you see that, right? That's the bottom of the tree. It just broke off. Uh, so, like, at some some top of the tree snapped off somewhere. It's probably that guy right there. I just landed right in there and got stuck in there. But that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I got to get in here and clean it up. But you don't do that sh stuff alone, yo. You got to, it's like a, when you go diving, you take a dive buddy with you. You never come into the forest and start doing any logging and stuff or cutting down anything. Um, without somebody with you and I know this based on uh, experience and some of the loggers that were here when I, I heard a saw running and big trees falling a couple years ago my neighbor sold off some of her wood to a mill <laughs> sorry I got covered in snow and um, I went there and it was him and his wife his wife was just hanging out watching him and uh, I was like, okay, I said, is this, do you enjoy this? And she goes, nah, it's just something happens to him if he gets killed or crushed or something. I can call 911. And, uh, and that's when he said, he says, yeah, you don't do this kind of stuff alone because it's a very good chance that you might get yourself into some trouble. And, I mean, I wouldn't even know how to go about cutting that curb tree right there. And, I mean... Just so you know, this isn't, you know, something that you just, uh, let me grab a saw and just, yeah, 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 yeah. This stuff will kill you. And I mean kill you quickly. Um, so I'm not doing that. Uh, there's a kid that I can hire. And, uh, but I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think I have more experience than he does. 
Uh, he's not even 20 years old. And I've watched more YouTube videos on safety and uh, Columbia. Uh, it's basically safety videos that are on logging and stuff. They're all over YouTube. It's like 150 of them on just one thing. So you got to know how to cut the tree, uh, where to cut the tree, and like if the tree is under pressure and all the stuff that you got to take into consideration, the lean of the tree, um, just, yeah, things like that. I mean, just look at that. It comes over your head. So it's not even just like curved. It's curved and it comes above you. So you cut that thing wrong and it, sna it, it like it jumps out at you while you're standing next to it and it, sn it snaps out. Now, that force alone will kill you, not to mention if it gets you caught between that, bi that bite, something called a barber chair. So half this tree will split. When you're cutting through it, half of it will go up. It'll split. And when it goes up, it normally hits you or your chainsaw. And if you, have, if you haven't got hurt then, when it comes back down again, it gets you caught in between that. And they call those barber chairs because, I mean, just imagine a barber chair lying over and the guy shaves you, right? Well, this is going to shave your head off. So, yeah, I think uh, my neighbor's brother died like that. She was a logger and he got hit by the tree when it came back up at him. So, yeah, I mean, it's just nothing I'd want to, look at that, just go way up and over you. So, yeah, and then there's stuff about lying down trees, the tension on it, whether it's coming up, whether it's going down, and how to cut that properly, or else it jumps up at you, or it rolls, it shifts, and it ends up on you, basically, so... The hell was that? Man, you hear everything here. I don't know if that was a different bird or what, but so yeah, that's it, guys. Lauren, oh, it was my kids. That's what it was. All right, let me go up there before they get down here. All right, guys. Well, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Share this if you guys like this kind of stuff. And this is where my new my new shooting range is gonna be. It's gonna be down there where I told you I'm gonna build it. And that way I got this nice straight path to shoot through. I cut that tree down. That guy's in my way. So, but yeah, it's going to be nice. And then I'm also going to create a road that goes down, down here so I can have another way in and out of my property. But anyways, for a uh, skew off trail again. Ha ha. Questions, comments, guys, leave them below. Love you guys and talk to you later. Bye.